This episode of The Modern Rogue brought to you by Upstart. Go to upstart.com slash rogue and find out how you can lower your monthly payments today. Make sure to use that URL. Give us the credit. Credit. I see what up. you did there. Yeah. It works on two levels. That's good. All right, real quick. Workshop in here. What is the most non-war crime way to phrase what we're doing? It's a step sprinkler. It's an aerosol shot for Ho booze. Homemade geyser? Homemade geyser. Lawn party sprayer. Lawn party. We're having a lawn party. Yay! Yay! All right, Corey, if I'm hearing this right, we're about to make an approximation of a landmine, but most likely used for like paintball games, right? Exactly, exactly, yes. I had found one that uh, was a reusable one that you could use in uh, paintball matches. It's just a little device that you put paint in and you can reload it, put it on the ground, and then Step when the enemy it. steps on it and it sprays them All with of a sudden it's a party. And yes. Then it's a party. <laughs> but uh, we bought it and then the order got canceled, yep. and then Corey says, oh, no, no, I'll go ahead and make it. And I thought, oh, great. Dude, talk us through it. Yeah. Did you do it? Do you want to see it? Yes. All right. It actually works. It's even the right G.I. Joe color. Oh, yeah, it, it felt heavy and complicated <laughs> yeah. in a way I didn't like. Because like this, I'm like, yeah, whatever, pool stuff. But picking this up, they're like, oh, this is ordinance. Yeah, this is basically just PVC parts, right? So the basics of it are we have a chamber to hold the paint, and then we have a CO2 cartridge. So we have a screw in the bottom. That will puncture this. Yep. So mm -hmm. in the Rube Goldberg, we're picturing poke, pokey thing goes to pressurize yep. thing. Which forces the paint up through the tubes and blast out here. Tell me this part. I understand the holes here, but why would the paint need to go down to go up the tube? Well, the paint will be at the bottom. You just, Got it. Yeah, see, you just pour it into there. If you look closely in here, you can see a hole that he's drilled in the side there. And so when the CO2 bursts out, all of this, the water and everything, or paint or whatever that's filled at the bottom, blasts up. Pushed push back yep. upwards. Okay, so if I'm reading this right, you got the liquid, whatever the payload is, we assume it's paint. And then I assume this part is there to push that down, release the pressure, everything blasts, and you get a party. Yep, that's exactly right. So this is a little pad that someone will, in theory, step on. Could, you, could we try one real fast? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes. We're gonna do Modern Rogue trivia. Okay, ready. <laughs> Buzz in when you're ready. Okay. Who is the world's greatest con man? Ooh. <laughs> that is yeah. awesome! Like, you can see the dry ice falling from the sky! Oh, wow! I mean, we need this just to host a game show. It's such a simple build. All right, time to play Price is Right without going over, Jason. How much do you think this build costs? Oh, okay, with all of the parts and everything, I'm going to say $45. Man, PVC is used for a lot of normal people things. So I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say 15 bucks? Yeah, 15 is, is almost exactly right. Really? Oh, that means I mean, you have to give me $500 in a kiss? Wait, did Bob Barker kiss everyone? No, it was Richard Dawson, the like, Family I, Feud. Yeah, yeah, oh, okay. All right, all right. So 15 bucks, what do we need? This is a three inch build. Okay. So this is a threaded coupling, I believe. So this wasn't cut off special or whatever. Got Correct, it. yep. All right. And then the other side of that, basically the exact same thing except in reverse to be able to put those two together. <laughs> then we have a threaded cap for the end. This is the bottom, right? Yeah, it's the bottom, yep. And then this is the top, the cap. This is our little pad that we're gonna step on. So this is just a half inch cap. So we need a adapter or a union. That's usually used for is to connecting two pieces of the same size pipe. Got it. Then we have our PEX tubing. Sorry? PEX, P-E-X, PEX okay. tubing. So uh, this is like behind your refrigerator. And so the flexible quarter inch PEX tubing. And then we also have, let's see here, what else? Three quarter inch PVC pipe. So this is to hold the CO2 cartridge. Epoxy to glue it together. Yeah, everything's getting real complicated now. And then glue, glue. for PVC. Yep, and, and it, primer. It, that's not just rubber cement. What is that? It's actually PVC glue. So this is the primer that oh, makes it. Got it. Yeah. yeah. We got called out for that a couple of times for not having PVC glue. Keep away from heat, sparks, open flames, or hot surfaces. And then a little tiny screw, half that's inch the long. Uh, pokey that's bit, the pokey bit. Okay, yep, yep, yep. so. That oh, is man. a number eight half inch. Oh, dude, now that the real one is gone, I don't know that I could recreate it. If I were to guess, we would drill holes here. I think we could get close. Glue these, one, two, three, four here. I remember seeing these at the bottom. How should we begin? We should begin at the bottom. Okay. So okay. we want to drill a hole right in the center. So grab the drill bit. Which one? Yeah. Start with that one. And then the important part is, is you got to get that as dead center in that hole as possible. 
Straight up and down. Oh. Yeah. There we go. That's pretty close to the center, oh, right? Yeah, it's good enough, I'm sure. Good enough. I'll take it. So now we need the screwdriver and we need the screw. Okay. Okay, so this is, we're wedging this in to be the bottom yep. on this. And we're gonna go From this way, way with Correct. the intention of it poking up. And I assume if there's gonna be, there we go. Like that? that? Yep. That's great. Okay, so now what we need to do is cut the PVC for the CO2 container. The idea is we want that tall, right? Two and a half inches. Uh, this doesn't wait, have to be uh, like ultra precise. I assume we don't put this in the vise. We put this in the <laughs> vise. <laughs> yeah. That kind of yeah, sounds good. like more fun. I kind of <laughs> like yours. My initial thought was we throw it up in the air and try to katana it out of it, out of the air with the jigsaw. That might work. Put the bait, this all the way against the pipe. And in fact, right now, you're about to start it with both the side and the blade on there. The moment that blade starts going, it's gonna go nutty. Mm -hmm. So lift the blade up a little bit, still pushing against it, yeah. keep the blade off of it. There you go. And then get it started. And then when you have a sense of it, you'll be able to butter on down. There it is. Not, not too much. There you go. Nice and easy. Perfect. Nicely done, sir. All right. Cool. Our favorite time on the episode. Yeah. <laughs> epoxy time. So it's just squeezing out a dab of epoxy. You're going to spread around the screw and then also on the bottom. With the intention of mounting this on the sanded side. Yes, not the side we cut though. Oh, okay, the flat the side. The flat side, yeah. Okay, so I want this to be dead center like, a, like a bullseye. Huh? Yes, if not, then the CO2 cartridge will not push down on it. So just make sure it feels like it slides down into the top of the screw. Yeah, it does. So we need to cut this plunger down because this is what's going to sit on top of the CO2 cartridge. But Got see, that, that goes in too far. So we're going to take and trim this up a little bit. Let's glue these together first though. So primer, paint the end of the half inch PVC pipe with primer. Primer does, I, what? what? It primes it. it well, yeah, it primes I mean, it. I guess. I'm going to save words and they're going to be wrong and I'm okay with that. Yeah, that's fine. But it kind of like melts the plastic a little bit. Oh, got it. makes it kind of soft. Yeah. Mm. And then a little bit on the inside of that. So just a little bit. Great. There's no way for me to go too far on nope. this, right? Correct. Okay, yeah, great. there's okay. a stopper. So I'm, I'm putting a little bit of a twist on there. And Correct. I'll just wipe some of that excess off. Yeah. So now what we need to do is, so you see that midline right there? Yep. We want a quarter inch extra. Yeah. Battery's dying. Oh, I got some more. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's perfect. So this will now set on top of that. Yep. Has the plunger. Okay. So now it's time to drill a hole in the cap. So this is going to be where the plunger goes. So we need a, to start with a small hole. Got with it. With all these little plastic parts. And then we're going to bore it out. Yes. God. <laughs> I wasn't going to say anything. I know. I, I wasn't going to say anything. I don't know if scratches count. Scratches don't seem like they should count. Mm. So Big now one. we need the oh. biggest bit. Um, hmm. See, this is one of those tricky moments where everyone at home, it's like, what I want to do is grab yeah, this. Yeah, it's fine. Given that I just scratched the back <laughs> of my hand, I'm going to go wash it off. To get, but you do this one. All right. Maybe wear gloves yeah. and eye protection. Yeah. And have someone else do it. <laughs> I'm going to be over here huffing that glue. Just do it. Yeah. <laughs> Stupid. See? Woo! See? Corey. It's fine. Nailed it. We, we need to actually get a Dremel and widen this out. Oh. So a three so quarter inch bit. you should have wiggled it. No, that's oh. actually wouldn't get it big enough. Is that, that seems like that's bigger, but boy, that's not even close. Mm -mm. You gotta get after it, man. Oh, right we're close. Oh. Oh! Nice. That's yes. a good seal. Look at that. Yeah, Great. it's probably a little too tight. Yeah, oh, because you need to be able to match in. Okay, so easy. Yeah. a little bit loose. Oh, oh that's it. Look at that. There it is. Nailed it. So okay. Now we need to drill the holes for the sprayers. You don't have to be exact with these. You just want to. These are the dispersal ones, right? Correct. Exactly. Yes. Yep. <laughs> 
Yeah, look at that. Okay, so now we need to widen those out to three eighths. There it is. Yeah. Man, our table is in such good shape. <laughs> Let's see if the PEX tubing fits in there. Ooh, that's perfect. Yeah, we do want it to be pretty tight. Yep. So now we need the marker again and the cutting saw again. All right, there we go. Four and a half ish each one. Perfect. Well done. Yep. Put them in there. Mm hmm. Great fit. All right. And where do I put the epoxy? Inside or out? Outside. Outside. Just pookie all around it. All right. That's the official term for it. It's pookie. pookie. Okay. So, what we want to do here. This guy's not quite dry. He's dry enough for what we're going to do. So, basically, we missed uh, drilling the holes in the side. Yep. But that's okay. We can still do it. So, we need three holes. How far up? Uh, about a half an inch up. Okay. And so this is going to be like when the pressure gets released, this is going to blast the air that'll throw everything up, right? Correct. Yes. And so now we need the slightly larger holes. On what? This? Repeat. Yep. Oh, got it. Okay. There we go. Perfect. Oh, that looks sexy. So now let's join these two together. Okay, with epoxy? No, nope. PVC. Yep. Yeah. Primer on, around the inside of this one, primer on around the outside of that one. Okay. Primed. Brian, you can go ahead and glue. Jason, you can primer the inside, inside? of that. Yep. That is perfect that for what we're doing. great. Yeah, doesn't it? I love the smell of primer. Glue. Yep. Yep. And then slap those two together. Okay, ready? We gotta do the interstellar. Just play some really loud organ music. <laughs> I miss, I miss my, my daughter. daughter. All right, all the way in. Oh yeah. Oh, and there then, it is. And then hey. hold it for a second because it'll keep squishing apart. It'll just take about five, ten seconds for it to. You're gonna set it hard as you can for forty-five seconds. Yeah. Oh yeah. Eat my vitamins. No, I think we're good. Yeah. All right. This is a good spot to pause and let the glue dry for a minute. Cool. Okay. Ooh, if I didn't know better, this looked like a bunch of completed parts. Do we have a thing? We almost, right? So now what we need to do is actually do some of the assembly and then finally cut the plunger to the correct Oh, height. that's right. We need the thing that yeah. pushes the thing yeah. to mm -hmm. do the thing. Yeah. Okay. So next step, let's tape this so it won't leak out the bottom. So whatever liquid we put in there. This is what? Them. Teflon tape? Or? Yes. Okay. Have you ever tried to eat it? No, I was going to say what? bandage a wound with oh, that. Wait, what? Is that a thing? No, no. Oh, I was oh. just, you know. <laughs> Stop it. Sorry. Oh, it goes on the inside. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Sorry. We're talking about bandages, <laughs> right? I noticed. Hey. I noticed. Okay. So once you kind of get that somewhat tight, yeah. grab a pair of pliers, the big ones over there, and then just put those in there. To give it a little twist, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. Like that. Yeah. Here, twist, twisty. Yeah, I think, uh, I think we're good. That's good. Yeah. So that's the base Beauty. of it. Look at that. So now what we need to do is thread this through here. Okay. Yep. Ooh. Ooh. So go ahead and push that down. <laughs> this is like it. the modern Rogue Manhattan project. Oh God, that movie was great. Loved it. Had John Lithgow in it. We want to get it super high because we want to be able to. I love how your John Lithgow sounds like vain. <laughs> this is the plunger that pushes down on the thing. Yep. So now we need to measure. Let me get my measurements right here. Uh, Ooh, can I guess? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to guess that what we want is when this is down, we would draw a line here. That's where the base of the cap could be. And then if we set the cap next to it, that's where we want to cut it roughly? Yes. Okay. It's about seven eighths of an inch. So typically you want to cut about seven eighths to a inch up. And so we can go ahead and measure that out. Do you remember his character in Buckaroo Banzai? Absolutely, John Big Boutte. Yeah, yeah. How, how did he sound? Like legitimately, I, I remember how wacky he was dressed. And I remember his being a zany character, but for the life of me, I can't recreate it. Yeah, he had this weird like, accent, right? Yeah, right? Buckaroo Banzai! Yeah. There we go. Yep. Yep, okay, got it. So All we're right. just gonna put the little cap on there. Looks pretty dang close. I think so. Yeah, yeah. Definitely close enough. Glue time. Primer, activate, form of primer. 
glue activate form of glue. Oh, glue activate form of glue. <laughs> We're the worst wonder twins. <laughs> I was <laughs> dripping it everywhere. We could blame the <laughs> glue for the tiny bit in there. Does that make Corey the monkey? Oh, you're right. They did. The wonder twins did have a monkey. So the very last thing in the world we want is for the pressure to build and for this thing to fracture. And the fact that we have four different exit vents prevents this from in any way possible being an actual bomb. Yes, that and also there's not enough pressure in these. Yeah. Oh, not, got it. So, so even if, I guess the mere fact that it's contained within this implies yes. that it would still be contained Correct. within this. Yes, the, and also these are, I forget what exactly the pressure rating is on these, but it's actually a fair amount of pressure that these can hold. Right I believe it's PSI. PSI. He's right. He's got you there. Yeah, yeah it's PSI rated. Mm -hmm. It's pretty much built. We're done, yeah. yeah right. So at this point, th the only thing I fear I would have screwed up is making these too long so that they would drag on the bottom, but there's no way that's going to be a problem. Yeah, correct, and also the, it seems how these have the holes in the bottom, the indentations, divots. the divots. Yeah. I don't think that would be a problem anyways. Look at this. Let's test it. I guess we'll test it empty once. Sure. Oh. So the tip is, is when you put this down, on oh, top of, make get, sure that get, gets on get top. It nested on there, right? Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then as you push it down, you see how this ri rises up? Yeah. For a million points, name the star of Raising Cain by Brian De Palma. John Lithgow. Spill, nice. spill with water. Just <laughs> once. Just once? Well, with yeah. water? Yes. yes. Okay, yes. okay, okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. That's too much water. <laughs> I'm looking around. I'm like, I don't want to repaint things. We finally got the place looking nice. <clears throat> Who is the star of Third Rock from the Sun? Joseph Gordon Levitt. <laughs> <laughs> Close enough, man. I can't wait to test this, dude. Corey, you're a champion. Well Heck done. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, thanks, guys. I think we had too much water in there. Yeah. Yeah. Name the winner of Best Picture for the 1977 Academy Awards. <laughs> Smokey and the Bandit. Wait, for real? I think so. <laughs> Wait, for real? I'm not sure. <laughs> I think it was Smokey and the Bandit, but that was amazing. It certainly it was. was. It worked, man. Nice. Dude, that's great. Oh, boy. This year, this past year, bit of a surprise. Yeah. A lot, lot comes at you. Life right. comes at you pretty fast. Sometimes you look up and all of a sudden you're swimming in high interest credit card payments and you're like, this is not, this is not what I signed up for. This sounds like a very personal anecdote. Uh, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> maybe you go out and you buy a haunted seven acre property and all of a sudden you're spending to get plumbing working and you're drowning in debt and all of a sudden you think to yourself, ooh, wouldn't it be great if there was a way for me to get fast, easy approval for a personal loan just to help me out in a squeaker. Oh, you can do that and it only takes five minutes online to find out what rates you qualify for and you can get the money as quickly as the next business day. They don't just use your credit score. Yeah, man, they pay attention to little things like, I don't know, how much your income is. <laughs> Why don't credit card... <laughs> <laughs> Loan amounts will be determined based on your credit, income, and certain other information provided in your loan application. Look, man, ain't none of us like it when we're slipping and sliding in credit card debt, but you can get rid of those high interest payments by going to upstart.com slash rogue. That's R-O-G-U-E. And dodge that guy who's been coming around asking for Brian's toe. <laughs> Offer and link in the description below. I learned on Harmontown, all you have to do is make your own mouth in the shape of an O, and you sound like John Lithgow. <laughs> Sorry. Come, stay a while. <laughs> and listen. It's John Lithgow. John Scottish Diablo. John Lithgow. I'm John Diablo. <laughs> Shut up, Corey. We're having fun. <laughs> Sorry.